Hi friends, thanks so much for stopping by. Today I am decorating my house for spring and I could not be more excited. I plan to decorate the main areas of my house, so my family room, my kitchen, my foyer, and adding a little decor into my dining room. I'm not doing like a full dining, uh, dining table setting, but am adding a few spring touches. I would describe my decor style as transitional. I like both traditional pieces as well as modern, so I do try to incorporate those two together. So if that interests you, if you like that style, I hope you'll keep watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you are excited for spring and subscribe if you're new. Let's begin. Here are all of the items I plan to use in my decor and I have been collecting these items over the last couple of weeks, storing them here in my dining room. The majority of items I already owned but there are a couple new items and I will definitely try to explain where each item is from and if there's any item that you have questions about, feel free to leave that question in the comments down below. So as you can tell, my color scheme is going to be blues and whites with a small touch of pink, but I am so in love with that color combination. First, I'm going to decorate this table in my foyer, and this is what it looks like currently. I'm simply going to swap out those candles for a vase and some other springy looking candles and swap out that pillow because that pillow is left over from Christmas. So this vase I got for a steal of a deal from Crate and Barrel a couple years ago. Maybe it was a year ago, um, but I love it. It's very heavy duty. I'm going to fill that with some flowers and those um, candle holders are actually from Kirkland's several years ago. I love this gingham print pillow. I feel gingham is very appropriate and fitting for springtime. And I will be using a an identical one in my family room as well. But I'm curious to know, have you decorated for spring or do you plan to decorate for spring? And if so, what color scheme are you decorating with? Next, I'm going to decorate my family room and I'm pretty much leaving it as is. I'm not adding a ton of decor. Just going to swap out a few pillows, add some greenery and flowers to this table and some vases to my fireplace mantle. But my decor taste is more on the minimal side. I don't like to add a lot of clutter. Um, whenever I add too much, I start to feel like, um, I don't know, it just kind of gives me anxiety if the house is too cluttered but I want to talk about these flowers they are gorgeous these are actually a new purchase I ordered these from Amazon and I did talk about them in my previous video but this is the first time I'm actually using them and I am in love
for these chairs by the fireplace, I'm going to swap out these printed pillows for some solid colored lumbar size pillows. And I love those printed pillows, but I didn't want there to be too many contrasting prints in the room. I am, however, going to leave the faux fur, the larger faux fur pillows, because I love the size of them and the color, and I don't have any others that size on hand. So those are going to stay. But I kind of like the texture, the different texture that they bring to the room. For the fireplace, I'm going to swap out those black candle holders for these blue ginger jars, I believe they're called. And I love these vases. I bought one from Home Goods last year and could not find a match to it until recently. Um, I was there like a couple weeks ago and found a match and snatched it up right away. Hello. To decorate the ottoman, I'm going to add a floral arrangement. I recently purchased these olive branches from Amazon and I am impressed. And I've never decorated using olive branches. I feel like they are so popular right now. And I have to say, I'm really liking this look. Moving on to my kitchen and this is my nook area. Now I'm not going to put a lot of decor out on this table because this is the table that we eat at and I like to keep it pretty clear for the most part. So I'm simply swapping out items in this tray and I keep this wooden tray on my table pretty much year round. Now these potted plants are actually artificial but don't they look real? They do to me and I'm so happy with that purchase. I recently got those from Hobby Lobby and better yet, they were half off. And to add a little more decor to the table, but not to the table, but to the chairs, I'm going to add these pillows to the captain chairs. Now, these are pillow covers that I bought from Amazon a couple of years ago and I'm filling them with pillows that I already had on hand. Here is my kitchen pre-decor. Now, as you can see, I definitely keep my kitchen minimal. I don't like a lot of clutter on my countertops, but I did recently buy these three glass jars from Home Goods. I've seen Pinterest pictures of jars like these decorated for the different seasons, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give it a try. So they were a really good deal. I think they were like 10 to $12 each, and I'm filling them with Easter eggs that I got from the Dollar Tree a couple of years ago. And those carrots are actually from Home Goods a couple of years ago. But you could decorate these in so many ways. You could put little peeps in them or pastel colored M&Ms, any kind of candy that's kind of Easter related right now. I could also use these in my bathroom, I thought for as apothecary jars and put cotton swabs in them, that kind of thing. Now, these topiaries are from Kirkland's and I got these a couple years ago. I love these. The only downfall of having them in front of the window though is that the sunlight does kind of, um, not bleach, but it uh, browns the green leaves. So that is unfortunate. I kind of wish I had thought of that before putting them in front of that window. Um, because it did kind of mess up 
the color on the one but the wooden tray and these beautiful clear jars are from Hobby Lobby it's a recent purchase and I love these it's part of their spring collection and I did wash these before filling them but I was actually going to use the wooden tray behind my stovetop in combination with my other other cutting board I have there but I decided to use them or use it underneath these glass trays and I actually really like this look so I probably will keep it there for now who knows I may move it back by the uh, stovetop but for now I'm gonna keep it as is um, I tend to do that when I'm decorating my decorating is never final I'm always changing things as days go on The final space that I am decorating is my dining room and I am actually going to use the same table runner and candle holders that I used at Christmas time because I just love the colors of them and this table runner is very neutral and I just don't want to do a whole tablescape uh, for spring this year. But these Ikea uh, chargers I love and I feel like just simply adding some plate chargers is a great way to make your table look formal without going all out. That is it for my spring decor 2021. I hope you enjoyed it and gained some ideas for your spring decor. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I hope you'll subscribe if you're new and have a wonderful day. I will see you in my next video. Take care.